Hey, what's going on? This is Tron Poly Studio. Welcome to my channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification to get the latest videos on art books for movies and video games, collectibles, and art projects, because that's what you'll find right here. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This will be a short video as I want to do a longer one with a deeper look into the topic of Norse mythology with two new books. Now, I've already received one for God of War and the other one is still on its way for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last couple of years, there has been a resurgence of interest in Norse mythology. God of War in gaming, American Gods in the show, Thor obviously in MCU, the Soar of Summer in Teen Books by Rick Riordan. Neil Gaiman is turning his book, Norse Mythology, into comic book form. And then of course, Assassin's Creed is jumping into this amazing culture of Vikings with ties to mythology as players can travel to the mythical realm of Asgard, Rainbow Bridge and all. While I have two books lined up to share with you, today I'm only going to show what I just received in the mail and that is the collector's edition for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So let's dive right in. Hey, I want to shout out to all my subscribers and thank you for hanging in there. I really appreciate it. It has been a while since my last video. I've been so busy with work, finding work and recording and editing videos of course. Here's one thing I've been doing that is on topic with Assassin's Creed. I've been making and selling these ornaments using a laser cutter to engrave these very cool designs. If you are interested in these very detailed ornaments, make sure to check out the link in the description. They make great gifts and of course decorations to have while you're playing the game. And not to mention, a great way to support this channel. Each costs about a cup of latte or so and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you. Alright, let's do a quick flyby of all the goodies that come in the collector's edition. First. There's a female Eivor sculpture. Then there's the Certificate of Authenticity. Right down here, we have a miniature male Eivor Viking statuette. Select game soundtrack and the exclusive steelbook. And there's also a set of three lithographs. First, let's take a look at the lithograph and move on to the female Eivor sculpture. Now, these are great because it serves as a preview and what we can expect to see in the art book for this game, which should arrive early next week. And here's the collector's edition of the female Eivor sculpture. This is one of the better collector sculptures I own. A good comparison would be to pit this against my God of War sculpture. The details on this sculpture is fantastic, but to me it's still lean towards a vanilla side since Eivor is in pristine condition. There's no war paint like she had in the trailer. Her skin is super clean like she just got out of the shower. She probably never seen mud in her life. Sure, she's screaming, but maybe she's terrified of getting mud and blood on her boots. The face looked to be made by a completely different team. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Not a wrinkle or scar on her face. Well, actually, she does have one upon closer inspection, but not painted or treated with any color. Easily missed and made it look like this is her first battle. Look, I know I may be nitpicking, but I pay good money for this and I want the works. For this fierce warrior to gain my respect, get some dirt under your nails and blood on your face, then come back and see me. Look, here's a few shots of Kratos and Atreus for comparison. Kratos' exposed skin are rough and textured and weathered. Okay, he's seen some shit. Even little Atreus has a nice scar collection going. You ain't gonna bully this kid at the schoolyard. Look, look at the muddy mess on their legs. Now this is top notch gray A attention to details. Here is the certificate of authenticity. It's cool, uh, not sure if this is a thing that I need. Uh, I just don't think there will be a lot of uh, uh, huge risk of replicating or copying of this sculpture from Assassin's Creed. But it's cool, it's a nice picture. I do like the gold foil against the teal and the emerald green. 
Uh, here's the soundtrack. Now, I love the cover art and all of the graphic design on the packaging. From uh, the box itself uh, to all these little carrying cases, they are great. Uh, they are all lined with Viking motifs. Uh, I just bought a radio CD record player combo for the garage, so I'll be jamming to some Viking tunes this weekend. And of course, here's the steel case. I actually have quite a few of these now. Again, the packaging team did a great job. The designers on this team should really pat themselves on the back. I love the rough texture and how it looks like the designs are carved out of stones or rocks. I used to work for packaging and never did we do some cool designs like these. Also because it was an educational toy company and not a game company. This is a little male Eivor statuette. So it appears to be a common practice or maybe a thing to have a little toy or trinket carved out of wood in Vikings or Norse culture. Because in the God of War Collector's Edition, there were also two little statuettes of Itri and Brock. Now they are the dwarf brothers who are great at forging anything. Uh, there's also a uh, actual mythology, a Norse mythology called the Treasures of Gods. It's actually a tale of how Thor got his hammer. It's funny as hell. All right, that's it from me. Thank you for hanging out and checking out this video. As I said in the beginning, I have two books coming, which I will make a video for that will focus on Norse mythology. So stay tuned, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for future art related videos. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.